Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here on this Monday morning. We have some special guests here in the studio. You're just going to put a big smile on your face when you see and you hear these young people here talking. But first, let's take care of our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center at the corner of Baldwin and Highway 77. It's going to be, the temperature change is only going to be about 5 or 6 degrees. It's going to be like a high of 69 and a low of 63, so not much right there. Our Monday moon forecast, you know, every Monday we'll talk about what the moon is doing for the week. Well, tonight we'll have a new moon. So we're going to start waxing on toward the end of the week and start building up. And then in about two weeks, and it's going to be about the middle of March in about two weeks, the so first week or two. And, you know what that means with a full moon coming in March. So it's going to be some exciting times in the outdoors. Looking at the tide chart, uh, brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. Low tide this morning at 5.43 and a high tide this afternoon or later on tonight actually at 9.54. And our marine forecast, it, you know, we've had a lot of north wind with this cool air and all coming in, but now it's, it's swung around. It's going to come out of south, southeast, but still going to be blowing about a 10 to 15. All right, we'll take our break and be right back with our guest. Welcome back, folks, and we have some special students of the month this morning from Moser High School Outdoor Education, and we've got a, we've got, we're gonna run out of time, we'll tell you right now, we've got so much to talk about, so I'm gonna let them introduce themselves and tell us about themselves, and then we're gonna talk about all kind of stuff, so Madison, we'll start with you first. Okay, my name is Madison Crowley. I'm a senior at Mosley High School. I enjoy talking to people. I'm a very talkative person, and I've lived here my whole life, born and raised. Um, I love going to the beaches, and I love hiking and all that stuff, so I'm really happy to be here this morning. Okay, and your, and your parents and family? My mother works in kindergarten and first grade, and my dad works in the Air Force. He works on air traffic control, and so I've always had a really good support from my family, so yeah. Okay. All right, Derek. My name is Derek Schlaber. I'm a senior at Mosley High School. I play football there. Um, I pretty much just like to stay outdoors. I don't like being inside. Don't like being cooped up in the house. I like to go outside, fish, and hunt, and work on my truck, and do stuff like that. And uh, how tall are you? No, I'm about six, seven and a half, six, eight. He's right at six foot eight. You can't tell him sitting right there, but, because, but uh, when he came in this morning, I actually, you know, you don't know all these kids ahead of time, but with me being retired, I'm just sort of meeting them. And Madison was the first one here this morning. She was waiting on me, and she did something I've never had a student or a guest to do. She brought me a cup of coffee. Yes, so sir. this is very special. Yes, sir. And she started talking to me when we got to the door. She hadn't stopped yet, <laughs> <laughs> which is great. I told, she's got to get into public relations or something. Uh, and it's yes. been awesome and all. So uh, yes, just sir. meeting y'all, and then there's the pictures he sent. Uh, I knew right where he was, and he right kind of fish, and I know exactly where he's coming from. And you live? Where do you live? I live over in Callaway by Tyndall. Yeah, Callaway by Tyndall. And yes, sir. I live in the Cove. In the Cove. Yes, so sir. That's two good areas. That had, and during the storm and all, did y'all get hit pretty bad? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. How's it coming back? Uh, we're still missing half a house, but oh, it's really? livable, you know? You live yeah. in half the house? Yes, sir. Wow. I mean, we were pretty fortunate. We got our house back done in uh, last May and moved back in, but we're still finishing the little things like the fence and the shop and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. What about some of the, uh, what are the things that y'all been doing in outdoor ed recently? Mm. Um, we've done archery and we've done, we learned how to do tents, like make a tent, we wanted to go camping and everything you need. You know how to make a tent? Yes, sir. Cool. But don't hold me to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And the other nuts, about, about yeah. something to do. Fishing, all that stuff. You know, well, yes, I never fishing. forget, one, yes. one spring we were doing a camping unit mm -hmm. and my senior girls, right. I never forget, they, they, it might have been some of Caroline's group. Oh, really? And uh, they came back on a Monday mm -hmm. and they told me, Coach, guess what we did? And they'd gone out to the state park and, and go camping. camping. The first camping oh. trip there, but it was like a group of four or five girls and wow. they said they had a ball. They did marshmallows and yeah. all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. So maybe I'll need to do yeah. that before it gets warm and all. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, we got some pictures. We, we got all kind of pictures and all. We're going to start off. 
Uh, we're going to start off with you, Madison. So tell us about this picture right here. So that is my outdoor ed project that I made with my papa, Ricky Lyle. Um, we, I, my uncle's a taxidermist, so we got the antlers from him. Okay. And and who's your uncle? Is he here? Jeremy Lyle. No, sir. Okay. He's up there in Alabama. Okay. And yes, sir, we had, that's him getting the antlers off for me because I cannot handle that. They're really hard to get off. <laughs> so he's cutting them, yes, he's cutting them off there. With a there. power tool, yes sir. Okay, so you're putting the outdoor project together, y'all back in the, in the workroom and all. Yes sir. And, and, uh, and you're helping, about, you're observing right now, but you're helping a lot, right? Oh, right, of okay. course. Okay, for sure. And that was the finished project, and then we did end up, um, I stained the wood. Okay. I just didn't get a picture of it. So y'all, so when you put it together, did you put screws through it like that? Yes, sir, but it took forever because um, the antlers were so strong that we had the hardest time screwing them in. Isn't it amazing how it is amazing you just don't realize that they grow out of their what, what nature is doing Yes, that. sir. Yeah. Okay, what about this picture? That is at um, Mount St. Helens in Washington. Beautiful. That's with my family. My uh, mom, my dad, my sister, we go hiking a lot, and my sister lives up there, so we were just visiting her over oh. the summer. Oh, cool. I see that. She's out there, you said? And yes, sir. Oh, that's cool. Everybody have a good time? Oh, we had a great time. Now, you know that erupted a while back. You know, I guess you know the story, so mm -hmm. but make sure you know your sister don't get too close to it. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. And uh, that's a, and yeah, that's, that's a, another picture. That is it's, beautiful. It's that's gorgeous. Uh, Madison, that's on my bucket list. I want to see that. Oh, I'm telling you, it's unreal. Oh, Absolutely bet. unreal. Okay. And that was at Stone Mountain. We went um, over the Christmas time, and it was awesome just being able to see. How close are you to the edge? Uh, not too <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah, I Gotta, see the wind blowing. Oh, yes, sir. Did it was very windy. Oh, no. No fear. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great picture. So. Yes, sir. Okay, so. Uh, you wanted to, well, you also want to give a shout out to some some we're going, this going to yeah. be on YouTube. Okay, Everybody right. In the world can watch um, it, so who's going to to it? Ricky Lyle, um, that is my papa. I love him dearly, and I'm so glad he helped me with my project because I got an A. <laughs> and where does he live? He lives in Florence, Alabama. Florence, Alabama. Yes, sir. And you got an A on that project? Oh yes, sir, I did. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. All yes, right, sir. we're going to we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back and see what Derek is going to show us. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Sitting here with Madison and, and Derek, seniors at Mosler High School, and they're sharing some of the outdoor activities and things they enjoy doing, and they've been a delight already. And it's, uh, I, I'm going to ask them some good questions, but let's, let's look at your pictures now, okay? Yes, so sir. tell us about this, okay? The first picture we have here. Uh, that was on the pier last year towards the end of the summer. Redfish were pretty, pretty thick in there, and it was pretty easy, pretty fun to catch. What time of the year was this? Uh, it was towards the end of the summer, it was okay. about August. All right. What were you catching them on? Uh, we were going out at the end of the pier and catching LY on Sabiki rigs and throwing them out their free line. They don't get any better than that, does it? No, That's sir. a natural bait. Okay. Well, now have you done that lately, uh, Madison? No, sir. We got to do. We got to take Madison. We'll do this. Uh -huh. We got a class. Yeah. We're gonna have a class okay. fishing trip, and we'll do that then. Okay, sir. All right, tell us about this one. <laughs> uh, that's at Tendal Bridge on the um, the Tendal side. You gotta have a permit to go down there now, so it's a little harder, but. Just right down there where the old boat ramp, boat ramp is on the beach. Yeah, yeah. Catch our own bait in the cast net and go out there and fish. Well, that's close to your, your home too, isn't it? Yes, sir. And uh, That's in the same spot. And what were you catching these on? Um, those were on finger mullet and bull minnows. Okay, that's a great picture there. Bull mullet. So you like, like, you like natural bait, huh? Yes, sir. I'm not a big fan of artificial. That was just me fighting that one. Uh, where is this? That's at Tyndall. Are you right there in that little pond, aren't you? Yes, sir. Now that that's excellent, that, folks. You don't have to have a big boat or anything. You can go right there on the shore and catch a nice fish, just like Derek. All right, I think I recognize this place. Uh, let me go ahead and identify that as the Lynn Haven Bridge. Yes, sir. All right, tell us about this. Um, me and my friends, you know, we got there and they real close to the pylons on the bridge side, and with whole blue crabs, you take the top shell off of them and throw them down there on a big hook, and they they fight pretty hard. Okay, what time of year do you catch them? You can catch those year round there. And that's fascinating. Now tell us about, you were eating some of the fish, but what about this one here, the black drum? Uh, I usually tend not to eat those because uh, when they get real big like that, they get worms, so they move slower, and yeah. parasites might so, then get so them. So you just went ahead and released this one back? Yes, yeah, so I put them back in the pier net and dropped them down. Good for you. Now, that's what we're talking about, these black drum. We've talked about it on the show several times, you know, when, when you catch these black drum, they're fun to catch. Yeah. They're heavy and all. And but those big ones don't don't taste that well. Mm -hmm. So uh, remember that when when you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
All right, what about this? Oh, look at here again. All right, yep, that's just another black drum. That's on the Deer Point Dam this time instead. Okay. And we haven't mentioned that area a lot. There, there's some nice drum right there in that walkway. They, that, they don't like to stay there year round though, kind of like the Bailey Bridge. They, they come in and they come and go. Uh huh. So you just kind of, kind of catch them while they're there. And what do you catch those on there? Uh, just blue crabs. Same just thing. Blue just crab. throw it out. Not necessarily near the pylon this time though. That's cool. Okay. And then um, this one's actually my buddy's backyard over there in Lynn Haven and Mill Bayou. In Mill Bayou. We've got viewers living on Mill Bayou. Okay. That's on the Deer Point Dam again. Are these all different fish? Yes, sir. Okay. Target practicing. That looks perfect right there. Yes, sir. So what kind of gun is that? Uh, that's an AR-30, 338 Lapua. Okay, how far is the target from? Uh, and this, we were still sighting it in, so it was probably about 100 yards there. Where do y'all shoot? Uh, we have, one of our pretty good friends has 1,000 acres out in Kynard. Okay, that's a good place to get up there in the woods and all and just shoot up yes, there. Yes, sir. All right. And that's out the river. One of the river hogs. Yes, sir. Uh, pretty swampy down there. No, it's horrible. <laughs> How you do you, see, you can see the thicket behind me? I know it. That's tough, tough hunting and all down there. Isn't it? Yes, sir. That's, that's some really good outdoor pictures and all. Okay, now let's talk about uh, what are some of the things uh, that you want y'all want to do in the future. I will start with you, Madison. What what does your future plans hold? Um, I'm definitely going to go to Gulf Coast um, for two years, and then after that, I'm really just going to see what. God has in store for me. Okay. I like talking to people. I'm a people person, so we'll see where the okay. wind blows me. Okay, you got to be some kind of public relations or right. something with you know with outgoing person out about yes, that. All. Okay, Derek, you're going into the Air Force. Yes, sir. I'm listening to Air Force. And what do you what do you want to do in there? I'm going to do F-35 propulsion mechanics for cool. aircraft. So you'll you'll learn that as you go in. They'll teach you all that. Yes, too. sir. I'll go to basic, and then they'll send me to a tech school after I graduate from basic. What do you think you'll be moved around to? You have any idea of some of the bases? Not too sure. It's yeah. all at random, isn't it? Yes, sir. They move people and all. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the, looking back at, we were just talking, mm -hmm. well, you all have seen the recognition day like two months from this week. It's mm -hmm. hard to believe, isn't it? It's crazy. Has yes, it sir. flown by? Yes, sir. Uh, it has. And when I, I want you to give me the same answer that you gave me during break. What, What's your favorite part of school? When the bell rings. <laughs> that, when the bell rings to get, to get out of school, that's a good answer. I know a lot, a lot of y'all identify with that. Uh, what are some, uh, what about you? What are some classes and all you've enjoyed in your school? I really have loved, loved outdoor ed. I love being able to be outside and not cooped up in a classroom and be able to actually do fun things. You it know? sort of gives a release or something. Yes, it? sir, yeah, yeah. it is. And because you're in that classroom all day you know, right. and just, I, that's, I, I can remember seeing kids walk in the class and uh, just take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad, you know, I'm so exactly. glad I'm out here. I, I just vividly remember that. Yes, sir. What are some of the classes mm -hmm. you've enjoyed? I uh, really enjoy weightlifting for football because it's just around yes. my, my football family. And that's a real thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially when we played for all four years. Yeah. And just hang out with them. You get to hang out with them the first thing in the morning every day, and mm -hmm. some of them will write your day, some of them make it worse, but that's <laughs> yeah. part of it. Yeah. And really loving out the rig because I actually get to put skills that I already know to use and help others mm -hmm. around me that yeah. don't know what they're doing. Right. And that's what you're able to do, pass on your knowledge and the experience yes, that you had. That, yeah. That's cool. Yes. Now, what about your cookouts? You've already had one cookout, right? Well, how mm -hmm. was your cookout? Oh, it was great. What did y'all have? We had burgers and hot dogs and <laughs> chips and cookies. It was <laughs> full of well. stuff. It was so okay, good. Okay, yeah, everything cooked on the grill. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. And it was cooked. What, what did y'all have in your cooking? Uh, we had pretty much the same thing, but we had some jalapeno cheddar deer sausage. It was yeah, really deer good. Deer sausage. Yep. And I stayed and cooked for the period before our class, my period, and the period after I helped cook. Okay. That uh, deer sausage is a perennial favorite with, with the uh, no. with students. The very first cookout we ever had 20 plus years ago when we had outdoor ed first started, you know what we cooked? Hmm. This is a trivia question. I, we cooked mullet. We fried mullet yeah. behind the gym. Really? So I never will forget that because nobody ever really cooked out at school and all. So we were about there fried mullet. So that was so uh, okay. Now, uh, when when you uh, when the last two months of school, anything in particular y'all want to uh, get done, accomplish, and anything? I just want to get my GPA up to a 4.0 and keep it there because I mean I don't have any classes. A, that's a good goal. That's I a just very want to commendable be there every goal. Day and, Get myself done. Yeah. Get out of there. I'm just trying to pass. <laughs> <laughs> they want to, they want to I'm pass. just trying to make They're it. Lord, just have me pass. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Sir. Uh, now you work part time. Tell me about your your job. Where you work? Yes, I work at Out of the Box Gifts. 
with um, Linda Lee and Caroline, and I absolutely love it. They're such great people, and we have the cutest clothes. You guys should come check it out for your wife. <laughs> so. And I'll also carry what book? The your book. Yes, yes sir. That, we carry that, his book. That's the only man's mm -hmm. gift in the store. Right. It really is. <laughs> and I, these, uh, Caroline was in my class. Mm -hmm. Linda Lee went the most way back. So I've known that family such a long time, mm -hmm. the Lawrence family. And uh, Caroline, uh, they were all in Alabama. They were Alabama fans. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And uh, it's a great store. And when, I, when you told me you worked there, I said, you fit right in with that. <laughs> yes, that that's sir. really good. Yes, and uh, we're going to give a shout out to Caroline. Right. Yep. Yes. All right. Let's take a final break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to our final segment here on Panhandle Outdoors. We're doing Students of the Month from Mosley High School and two great young people here. I really enjoyed having them already. Felt like I've known them for 180 days. <laughs> okay? So uh, this is, of course, Derek. He lives over, you live up in Callaway. Yes, sir. Okay, Madison lives in the Cove. Mm -hmm. So we're glad to have them. Let's look at our fishing game times today, brought to us by Blue Water Outrigger down in Port St. Joe. Our time is 1229 to 2:29 this morning. But this afternoon, right after lunch, 12.50 to 2.50. Derek, we're talking about, we do these game time, fishing game times every day. Have you been outdoors enough that you know things that, have you experienced it yet with yeah. time? Have you seen that? Yes, sir. Even as a young person, you've seen this. Yes, sir. That, that's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and you like to fish with live bait and that kind of stuff. Yes, sir. You catch a lot with this little net or? We have cast nets. They usually use an eight foot cast net or a six foot cast net. Who taught you most of your fishing? Uh, a lot of it was honestly one of my best friends and my dad. Mm -hmm. And you, do you think later on or even now you're going to be sharing fishing? Oh, uh, yes, sir, definitely. Experiences and all, and yes, teaching sir. other people. And what, okay, Madison, tell me some of your, what are some of your goals? What, what, do, you, what do you want to do? Your, um, I really just want to be successful, a good person. Um, have a husband one day, not anytime soon <laughs> at all, and a couple kids, you know, yep. and just live the good life, you yep. know? The American dream. Uh, the American dream, <laughs> exactly. Now, will you, both of y'all, do you think uh, later on, once you sort of get settled down and sort of get you know, it, working, on, working in that direction, do you think outdoors will be a part of your lifestyle oh, for your family? For sure. You think you'll do uh, some outdoors? What are some outdoor things you think you'll do with your kids later on? Uh, definitely teach them how to fish. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, <laughs> hunting for sure and just riding four-wheelers and doing everything outside. Okay. And Madison, you're going to teach your, I know, camping for sure. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. For sure. And just um, taking time to take a step back and realize how important nature is to the world. And, oh, cool. Yes, sir. And we're going to take care of our environment. Exactly. That's one thing we're going to do. And yes, we're going to help our fellow man. Exactly. Uh, Y'all on the right track. Y'all right. have done well. <laughs> so. This senior year, senior year is always special. And I was mm -hmm. mentioning while we were off air, we're going to talk something about your friends, but mm -hmm. you say you don't have any friends? Or? Oh, I'm, I'm a bubble person. I'll just. <laughs> what is that called? I'll explain bubbly. that. Bubbly. I just, um, I like talking to everybody, you know? I just. Well, that, that's, then you're uh, friends with everybody. Right, exactly. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, that, nothing wrong with that. Right. All right. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, have, I keep a close group of friends. It's just because they've been there no matter what since. You know, day one, if I yeah. need them, I call them, they're there. Same vice versa if they need me, I'm there. Just, well, you know, uh, these, these bond, this bond you have with your friends in high school, even though you're bonded with everybody and your bonds with a small group, this is ironic because <laughs> this happens, this is what it is. Yeah. That bond will always be with you mm -hmm. when you come back with them and all that. Right. Who, uh, looking back, what are some of the favorite classes, like I said earlier, some of the teachers, any kind of teachers made an impression on you mm -hmm. all in school, from all the way back to middle elementary school or middle school or, or even here, here at Moser High School? Anybody jumps out at you? Uh, I mean, Miss Gwynn was definitely one of my favorite teachers because she's always been there for me no matter what. Especially after the hurricane, we were going through some hard times. She was always there for us, you know. Okay, what does she teach? Uh, she's a English gen paper class. She does okay. the um, the ACE class for Mosley. Oh, very good, Miss Gwynn. Okay. Um, I like Miss Miller. Okay. That's for ceramics. Um, I like that class because. She kind of pushes you to show you that just because you think you can't do it, you can probably do it. You're just not pushing hard enough. That's a lesson for a lifetime. Yes, <laughs> it, it is. is. Okay, really enjoy now, it. Uh, now later on, y'all got a job making a lot of money mm -hmm. uh, and get have some extra money to buy some outdoor stuff, you know, mm -hmm. boat and or whatever, or nice gun or something. What are what are some things y'all want to buy later on for what are you gonna use in outdoors? Man, I want to have it all. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so you probably, you, I, don't, I don't know when I was your age, I couldn't wait till I was able to get me a boat. I started mm -hmm. off with a canoe, and you know that canoe y'all have in class? Yeah. That was in the back yeah. of the room? Yeah. Well, yeah. We built that. Wow. We built that in 1998. We built that in that classroom. That's that awesome. Strip by strip. And I know it goes back to when I was a young person mm -hmm. wanting a canoe so bad for my beginning boat. Yeah. So what about, what kind of outdoor stuff you think you'll pursue and uh, buy? I would definitely think a boat. Yeah. Or a jet ski, maybe. Jet ski. Oh, those are fun. Those, a lot those, of fun. Those are fun things. Anything on the water like that. Anywhere in particular. Now, you were born and raised here, and you're going to go to Air Force. So There's two different, very typical of, of the Panhandle area. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to think you want to finally settle down and sort of raise your family? Right back here. Right back here. <laughs> okay. What about um, you? It depends on where what career I end up. I do like it here because I do have family here, mm -hmm. but I also have family in Alabama, so who knows where I'll end yeah, up. Family, okay. Yes, sir. That, that's, that's two good answers right there. Y'all are doing good. We've <laughs> yes, got about a minute or two left now. Right. Anything in particular that y'all want to, that y'all think of we haven't covered, y'all want to give a shout out to other than your uh, uh, to Coach Wilkie. Coach I really Wilkie, do appreciate yeah. all the lessons he's taught us. Yes. Um, he, I would never have learned probably half the stuff that I've learned in that class if I wasn't in there. Well, let me ask you all this. Do you all think outdoor ed should be in every high school? In, yes, in, sir. Oh, 100%. Sure. There you go. Yes, well, sir. Uh, 100%. Do you all know South Boston High School is doing it now? South, oh, really? Yes. That's the awesome. Baseball coach. Is, he's a teacher over there. He came okay. over here to the classroom. Oh, really? Sat down with Coach Bill and I for like two hours. <laughs> and they teach the exact thing that we, they all learn yeah. the exact thing in South Walton. In fact, we've had students of the month from South Walton. So That's awesome. This is what we're talking about, about spreading the, we're talking about spreading love, exactly. spreading the love of the outdoors mm -hmm. with everybody. And I know y'all going to continue to do that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He went from out of the box to right. the Air Force or right. whatever. <laughs> we got to wrap yes, it up. Sir. I want to thank you. You're, you're <laughs> the first person to ever bring me coffee. So I'm yes, going to do something special for you later on. I don't know okay. if I'm going to buy you a boat or something like okay, that. Okay, I'll take the boat. Something you know, special. Something small. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there are great outdoor pictures. And okay. I want to wish you all the very best. I'm going to come see you all pretty soon. Well, just let me know when the cookout is. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll come for the cookout. All right. <laughs> thank you all so much. Great all right. job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all for watching Pan Out Outdoors. We always appreciate the viewership and the loyalty you show and supporting our young people. Do something good today for a fellow man, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.